um, PNH actually it's a it's an acquired genetic mutation uh, disease, so there is no uh, a specific phenotype of people that is more likely to uh, to get it. Uh, so when you get this genetic mutation, um, you uh, basically it's a mutation on the gene that um, basically codes a protein for red blood cells uh, that protect the red blood cells against complement activation. That is called, it's a linker for what's called CD55 and CD59, which are natural complement inhibitors. Uh, and those complement inhibitors protect the, the cells but red blood cells become particularly susceptible to hemolysis upon complement activation, which just activates itself all the time. And because the cells are not protected, now they get destroyed. Um, so the bone marrow now um, it has a lineage without this gene, and those become the PNH cells that are destroyed. Um, so when uh, when you when you get PNH, this form expands on the bone marrow. You get a lot of these cells. And then you have two type of hemolysis in PNH, one called intravascular hemolysis, in which the cells get destroyed into the vasculature. And that is due to activation of complement uh, all the way down to for formation of what is called the membrane attack complex, which basically pokes a hole into the cell and the red blood cells blow into the vasculature. And those will release lactate dehydrogenase or LDH, and also free hemoglobin, which can be toxic. The second type of hemolysis is extravascular hemolysis. So activation of complement at the level of C3 uh, produces not only activation of then C5, but also starts coating the cells, like painting the cells with part of the molecule called C3B which in turn turns into C, uh, C3D. And when those cells go into the liver and the spleen, then they get basically eaten by the reticular endothelial system. And that is what is called extravascular hemolysis because it happens outside uh, of the vessels. So two different types of hemolysis leading to, again, two different markers. Uh, intravascular hemolysis, as I said before, LDH and free hemoglobin. Extravascular hemolysis leads to an increase mostly in, in bilirubin. And because the bone marrow is trying to compensate for all this uh, loss of blood, in a sense, then you see also high reticulocytes, meaning the bone marrow is produ constantly producing new cells. When it comes to symptoms, of course, the, the LDH um, and the loss of, of uh, red blood cells will lead to anemia lack of oxygenation that comes with a lot of fatigue, um, but also the LDH will uh, you know, lead to things like pain. Uh, and then you also have all these patients being predisposed to uh, thrombosis. So this patient usually a symptom and a symptom that sometimes uh, is what brings the patients into a hospital is because they have a, a thrombosis. And the most dangerous one is called Budkiari, which is a thrombosis um, in the liver. So those are, you know, at a high level, a description of, of, of PNH. Against what bothers this patient the most uh, is the fatigue, the constant fatigue. They're, you know, short of breath because they have low oxygen in the system. I think now um, the community, of course, is a lot more um, uh, aware of the existence of the disease and then diagnosis can happen early. But, you know, the patients go through um, sometimes, you know, six months to a year until it gets diagnosed because all other causes of hemolysis have, you know, get eliminated. People don't immediately think of, of PNH. Um, so they start try treating the, the, um, the anemias with, with transfusions uh, and iron um, and whatnot until, you know, Unless the patient is a typical PNH patient that shows clearly with, you know, high LDH uh, and you know hemoglobinuria, which are the typical, um, you know, signs of of PNH, um, and the hematologists are are aware. Immediately, you will do a flow. Um, so, by flow cytometry, is what you use to confirm the diagnosis. Uh, so, for those hematologists that are aware, uh, a flow looking for CD55 and CD59 on the cells, as well as C3 deposition is the defi uh, definite diagnosis of PNH.